So y'all, I'm about to get myself together today. I've got a new unit from the doula right here. This is their new Bye Bye Knots wig. Y'all, pull this out of the package. It is 12 inch bob wig, right? However, there are no, you do not have to do anything to this unit. They've already took the lace off and more importantly, they've already bleached the knots for you. So that is already done. Pre-plucked hairline as well. And I wanna say the texture on this particular unit is more of like a yakky texture, yakky straight kind of texture. I don't know, I'm loving it. It's nice and full. She is definitely thicky thick. I went on ahead and did try this unit on. It's gonna be a little tight on my head because I do have my mini twist in still, but I'm gonna make it work like I always do. You can definitely wear this wig glueless. Y'all know my head is on the larger side. I'm just gonna have to add a little bit of hairspray. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started you guys. I'm gonna show y'all just how this looks at 12 inches and then I'm actually going to take it up probably another inch or two and make it more 10 or 11 inches because it just needs a little bit cut off but it will make such a big difference. The lace on the bob is really important. It could either age you or make you look trendy up to date. Let me go ahead and give you guys an up close and personal look at everything I got going on right here and then we'll go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so here is the unit up close and personal. You've got everything like I just mentioned, your pre-bleach knots. This is the one thing I absolutely hate doing. I don't mind bleaching my knots, but for it to come already done is like, oh, I'm just in love. So the lace on here is a seven by five. So it's kind of like a middle ground to me between a closure unit and a like full 13 by four or 13 by six. And if you're not a fan, of course, of the shiny Brazilian straight look as far as hair goes, then this is gonna be right up your alley. So right here, you guys, I just wanted to show you if you were just to pop it on because some of y'all be wearing your wigs like this and I don't want you to, okay? I'm about to show you guys the easiest, easiest way to take your unit looking like this, which is, I mean, it's cool, I guess. It's really not. Like, we gotta do a little bit of something to showing you guys how I showed it in the beginning of this video. So first things first, we are going to take some inches off. So I'm just knocking out the curl um, that was at the bottom on my mannequin head. If you don't have a mannequin head, you have to get one. I will link the one that I've been using for like four years now down below. And then I'm just taking my little um, clippers that I actually use these on Isaiah's head, but I couldn't find the ones that I normally use on my wigs, if that makes sense. And I'm just going to cut off like an inch or inch and a half, no more than two inches, you guys, just keeping it as straight as I can. And honestly, whenever it comes to a bob wig, don't just pull it out the box and pop it on. At least clean up the um, ends of the hair because it will just make it look so much better and give you a lot more bounce as well. Your next step to this super easy transformation is your wax stick. Your wax stick with this particular bob and this texture is going to be your best friend. Try not to drag your wax stick all the way down the hair because you, you still want that movement in it. Um, mainly just focus at the, uh, the roots of it and you're going to press that hot comb on this mannequin head. That's why I said this is so much easier, so much better to do if you have a mannequin head. I've seen mannequin head like 50,000 times, you guys, but this this makes all the difference. Styling my bob wig on my hair, like if I were to just do this without a, a wig stand, um, is it, it'll come out much different. It won't come out as flat versus doing it this way. So if you are a beginner, listen, I'm taking you through the easiest steps to get that super sleek bob and just a really quick and easy way to change your look. Y'all, that was basically the hard part and it was not even hard, now was it? Nope, it was not. So next y'all, I am just going to put my wig cap on. So I'm just laying my edges. You can choose to leave some of your hair out because remember this wig is a seven by five. So it's not gonna go all the way down to your um, sideburns. Um, you can also wear this glueless like I mentioned before, but I'm going to pop a little bit of hairspray right in the center, a little bit on the sides, not too much you guys, and just quickly 
blow dry it down um, and really melt that lace on in. And then next I'm going to lay my edges. Of course, laying your edges is always optional. With this look, you really don't have to if you don't want that look and I still think it will come out really nice because the wig is already pre-plucked but as for me and my hairline y'all already know i like my edges laid it's just how i like them so that's what i'm doing Final touches at this point. I am just going to take um, kind of like medium sections and flat iron my hair. You see how big the sections are? We do not have to go super tiny. You do not have to take your time with this. The hair reacts to heat so freaking well. Like it, y'all y'all will see in just a second what I'm talking about. Um, but I just wanted the front of it mainly a little bit flatter. So I'm just running it through section by section. Well, big section by section, you guys. And um, yeah, just curling it under just, just a tad. We don't really want to bump those ends, y'all know. Um, and then next, I'm just gonna do my final touches. I'm just gonna add a little bit of, what you call it, uh, bronzer um, to my hairline because y'all know that is the secret to making sure it all blends well um, and a little bit of powder to the part as well and then lift up my little baby hairs a little bit and this is the final look for this you guys super sleek super easy and do you guys see the cut on that do you guys see the difference it made though um, just taking it up like an inch and a half go to the beginning of the video and then go to now y'all will see a difference um here i just went on ahead and curled the hair because i really wanted to i was just curious to see how it curled to be honest with you guys this unit did hold a curl but i'm curling each section really tight just to make sure and y'all i did not have to repeat sections this came out beautifully anyways just switching it up just in case you're going to a holiday party yada 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 this and that just showing you something different for this particular unit so yeah you guys that's basically it for this tutorial i hope it was super easy because it was for me but i hope it was for you as well make sure you check the link in the description box click on that link you guys pick this up i guarantee you will absolutely love it just as much as i do happy holidays to you guys thank you so much for all your love and support this year and i will talk to you guys in my next one bye if somebody's heaven, tell me who.